Hello once again, my friends, fellow Star Trek fans, and fellow modelers, and in this instance, fellow lovers of AMT. And I got a little surprise. I want to show you guys a catalog. No, not the new one from round two. But this one is actually from 1979. So we're going to have a little bit of fun. And we're going to go through the AMT, my favorite model producer. Even to this day, they've been bought um, by round two models. And they actually reissued a lot of the classic kits. So why don't we go over to the desk where there's more room and there's no more light. And I'll show you guys what's in this catalog. We'll go through it. Okay, so we got more light over here. And check it out. From 1979. I'll give you guys a little bit of a flashback. Going back to 1979. Um, let's see. Star Trek The Motion Picture had just come out. I wonder if there's going to be that kit in this catalog, along with the other Star Trek kits. And the AMT had a bunch of just real cool kits, so why don't we check it out. So, let me show you guys. Let's see, right off the bat, you can see the Cora's rig. And it's got a little bit of, let's see, information up top. Lesney Products Corporation proudly announces the acquisition of AMT. This move within the hobby kit industry will combine AMT's manufacturing expertise with Lesney Matchbox. Quality merchandising and marketing how-to. The results will mean a dynamic, moving program in national advertising, hot rod, car crafts, boys life, comics, and more. Promotion. National Subaru giveaway contest. New merchandise. Subaru Brat, the hot selling import pickup with the Penske PC6 Ghoul Charge, sensational race, uh, racer driven by world champion Mario Andretti. And the licenses Star Trek, Farrah Fawcett, Kiss, Peterbilt, Pepsi, 7 Up, Goodyear, and many more well known names. Matchbox, Vogue Doll, Speed Track, Road Racing, and now Lesney AMT, a name you will count on, a family you can grow with. So this is a little bit historic. This is when uh, Lesney purchased AMT. You can see the first models, 125 scale. We've got the big rigs, Budweiser, Coors, and on the bottom we've got the Super Hauler. And wow, look at the Clydesdales. Um, I didn't realize that AMT had made a model with um, the Clydesdales, 120 scale. Horsepower is a common denominator throughout the AMT kit line. The term applies equally to cars, trucks, aircrafts, and ships. The kits pictured below offer two variations on the theme. From eight real horsepower of years past to 800 racing horsepower of today. Both of these kits share AMT's commitment to quality down to the finest detail. Here we go. Are we getting into my favorite part? Check that out. Star Trek, Paramount Pictures Corporation, all rights reserved. A beautiful enterprise. Scale models based on a famous TV series. S-951, USS Enterprise, flagship of Starfleet. Captain Kirk's Enterprise is probably the most famous vessel in science fiction history. Big model of this renowned intergalactic explorer is 18 inches long. Includes display stand and Starfleet decal markings. Here we got the bridge. The S-950, S USS Enterprise Command Bridge. Nerve center of Starship Enterprise, the Command Bridge houses all control functions for the Space Explorer intricately detailed model is 12 inches in diameter. Includes multi-colored decal trim plus figures of Captain Kirk, First Officer Spock, and Helmsman Sulu. And then we go on, we've got the 
the Klingon alien battle cruiser. The S-952 Klingon battle cruiser, the bad guys, counterpart of Starfleet's USS Enterprise. This is the attack vehicle of the Klingon Enterprise's battle fleet. Same big scale as the Enterprise model, the kit includes color Klingon identification decals and two-way display option. It looks like we got the K-7 space station. S-955, K-7 space station. Enormous triple hull complex service Star Trek's combination space motel trading post recreation center. The K-7 station was featured in a memorable episode, The Trouble with Tribbles. Assembled model is over 16 inches in diameter. Kit includes miniature model of the USS Enterprise to show relative size of the two space vessels. And I just showed you guys the reissue from round two on this kit that we're doing the build on. And we've got the S-953, the spaceship set. We've got the Klingon battle cruiser, the Romulan ship, and the USS Enterprise. Snap together miniature of Star Trek's most famous space vehicles, all three in one kit, with display base for the in-flight mounting. Starship Enterprise is seven and one eighth inches long. Klingon battle cruiser is five and three quarter inches long, and the Romulan bird of prey is five and a half. Uh, has a five and a half inch wingspan. Includes color decals. So Star Trek is always a favorite part of mine. And unfortunately, that was it. I was hoping they'd have the Star Trek the motion picture kit in here, but they don't. So we've got the 125 scale, the big rigs. And these are all really cool. I remember when I was a kid, uh, my cousin used to like to build them. He would do a great job on them. Um, and then he would burn them. <laughs> he would put gasoline on them and burn them and make them look like they were in accidents and blow them up. All the work that, he, and then he would put them back on his shelf. Um, I'm thinking of doing one of these builds in honor to him. You can see we got the uh, turnpiker. Peacemaker, the cab over, the Mac, the white, the white freight liner. And they've got a lot of trucks. I like the white freight liner. I think they're beautiful. The GMC. I mean all the big rigs are gorgeous. And I love the tow trucks. Look at the size of the wrecker. And these are all in 125 scale. We've got a lot of trucks. I think they did a reissue of the Kentworth Alaskan Hauler. I think round two had done a reissue of that. I'm not positive. We got another cool uh, looking Peterbilt and a white freight liner. That one kind of reminds me of the BJ and the Bear. I don't know if that was a freight liner or not. The T818 Caterpillar, that's pretty cool. And the uh, fire truck, the yellow one. Over 16 inches long, more than 300 parts. And we got the Kenworth. And the White Western, it's a beautiful truck. And we've got the trailers that can go with it. Look at, we've got the Coors, Watkins, the um, Lowboy, North American, the Tandem Vans. I don't know if you guys remember when they used to have the double trailer. I don't think those are legal anymore. We've got the, uh, the Golf Tanker, the Budweiser, and we've got the uh, Pabst. Blue ribbon. Now we go into the scale pickup trucks. You can see the Bronco, the Ford pickup, the Ford Courier minivan. 
I don't remember those. It's kind of like the Ford Ranger, maybe, pioneering. Pickups. I remember the Subaru Brat when it first came out because they had the seats in the back. Of course, they outlawed that now. Bush Baby, the Chevy Blazer, and the Courier. Super Stones. We got more trucks, pickups. I love the 34 Ford Stake pickup. That's beautiful. We got the step side, the, uh, the GMC step side. They've got so many models. You think of the, the cost to produce all of these molds and castings. I think this is the last truck, the Budweiser delivery van. Then we go over into the vans. Custom Ford, look at the bubble on top, Nirvana, and we've got the uh, Vantum, it's pretty cool, we got the one with the trailer, that's, that's really cool, the little dirt bike in the back, we got more vans, the Foxy Box, wow. I vaguely remember that one as a kid. I remember being part of the model club when you would get a different kit every month. I don't remember if it was... I think that might have been more monogram. I don't really remember. The Hyper Hut. The Sun Chaser. The Disco Van. And the Chevy Van. We go into the, the cars. Look at the Thunderbird. Beautiful. The Volkswagen, Volkswagen Rabbit, the SS, look at the Mercedes, and the Mustang, Shelby GT, oh, beautiful, and the Sunbeam Tiger. Lots of cars. The Macho Mustang. We got the uh, Foxy Vet, the Plymouth Rock, or the 41, that's pretty cool. We've got the, uh, the 29 Ford Roadster, Corvette Convertible, look at the Corvette Coupe, how awesome is that? And the Cafe Racer, the Capri 2. Seven, 57 Chevy Bel Air, total classic. We got the Impala. The Corvette, love it. The convertible, look at the, uh, the Nomad Wagon. Convertible and the top Camaro. That looks like a, a Firebird wannabe. More Corvettes, another Mustang, 66. We got the Ford Galaxy, and look at the ones from the Munsters. Graveyard Ghoul Duo. I guess, I don't know if they can actually say Munsters. Maybe they didn't have the rights to it. But that looks like Dragula and the, uh, the Munsters coach. Two show cars that'll leave you breathless. Body Snatcher is original Ghoul Coach is Overtaker, Dragster Casket. Yeah, they probably don't have the rights to say Munsters at the time. The Ford Convertible and the Chevelle. We go into the racing cars. The Ghoul Charge. The Norton Spirit. The Budweiser Mustang. Funny car. The Nova. Nice. The Chevelle. The Salt Shaker. Look at the Studebaker. Mazda the funny car. So we got truck and trailer sets in 143 scale, so these are smaller. Goodyear and a Pepsi. 7-Up. 
in the tractors, the wrecker. And these are going down in scale because these are down to 143. We got the cars, we got the uh, Ford Coupe. Let's see, what is that? The Corvette, the 57 Bel Air, the Ford Coupe, the Fastback, gorgeous car, and the Chevelle. And these get a little larger. These are in 116 scale. I love the Mustang. And we got the Thunderbird, the Chevy Nomad, that's a pretty cool car. And we've got the Thunderbird convertible. Look at how different between the 55 Thunderbird and the 57 Thunderbird. Looks almost like totally different vehicles. Then we go over to the the other cars, the Chevy. We got the hard top, the convertible, the nomad. Convertible again, and we got the 57 hard top. And um, 116 still. And now we get smaller with the 132 scale for the racing cars. Formula One, I guess. Porsche. Bugatti. Jaguar. And now we go into the airplanes in 132 scale. So they really do make everything. Super detailed kits of famous World War II combat aircraft. Each kit is molded in three colors, so younger models can achieve a finished look without painting. Comprehensive color guides are provided for those who prefer to paint their models to match one of the kit's three sets of decal markings. We got the Spitfire. That's pretty cool. And we got their enemy, the Messer, Messerschmitt. And we got the Douglas Dauntless SBD-5. When I think of AMT, I think of the trucks and the Star Trek. I forget that they made really everything from aircraft to boats to ships. Well, I don't really remember ships, but we'll find out. The Lockheed. Germany's first World War II bomber, the Stetson. And then check out the seaplane. And we get even smaller because now we go to the 172 scale and look at the Cobra, the Huey Cobra helicopter. We got a smaller Spitfire and the Corsair, the Northrop, the Warhawk, and the Thunderbolt. The Hellcat. Um, North American F-86A-5, the Sabre. That's a pretty cool looking plane. Mitsubishi Zero Sen. The Hawker, Sidley, Mark One. So these are interesting. They made so many, so many I never heard of. Got the MiG 21, the Messer Schmidt, the Hawker, the Douglas Skyhawk, the Starfighter, and the Brewster Buffalo. Corsair, the Curtis Hell Driver, or Hell Diver, excuse me, and the Back Lightning, the F6. The North American P-51D Mustang. 
Percival Provost. And in the middle, we've got the Buccaneer. And we've got more aircraft. A, I didn't realize AMT made so many planes. We've got the Lockheed P-38 Lightning. I remember making a model of the P-38 when I was a kid, but it wasn't AMT. I think it was Monogram. Bomber. A Douglas. Green Hornet, that's pretty cool. The Tomcat. The Marauder. In a perfect world, we'd be able to get every single kit AMT ever made. That would be really fun. Ah, here we go with the ships. The HMS Aridine, or Arid, the Aridney, the Aridney. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. And then we've got the Admiral Grasbury. And we've got the Narvik class destroyer. The HMS Exeter, that's a pretty cool looking ship. And we've got the USS Fletcher. And these are in 1700 scale, so these aren't really that big. The USS San Diego. And you can see the play set, the play kit, 132 scale. That's pretty cool. You see the damaged building, the tower. 7703, counterattack. Action packed fun for junior strategists includes 30 combat troops, full color 21 by 21 realistic diorama play base. Sniper tower, armor car with po air powered mortar, air powered cannon with strong point building that explodes with the late action mine, complete with full color decals and easy to follow instructions. Snap together assembly, no cement needed. And that's pretty cool looking. So you can see the little pump, and what you do is you hit that, and uh, the air pressure goes through the hose and it fires the. Uh, cannon or whatever you want to fire. And you can see the 79 release cattle calendar. Let's see. I'm trying to see if they have the um, Star Trek the motion picture. No, I don't see it. Maybe this is just prior. And this is the Lesney a Matchbox quality product. Lesney AMT Corporation, 3031 James Street, Baltimore, Maryland, 21230. Nice. So this is from 1979. And um, I hope you had as much fun going through it as I did. This would be really cool. And uh, I was hoping that they'd have the Star Trek The Motion Picture Enterprise. But at least we got our Star Trek, I got my Star Trek fix anyway. So my friends, I hope you enjoy this quick video. And until the next video, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon.